Hello everyone and welcome to PHP 101. This is episode 2 and today we're going to focus on arrays. Okay, so first off I've created a new folder called episode 2 which was with where, where in the last episode we did episode 1 I've just created another folder called ep2 for episode 2 and I want to create a new file. This is an easier way to create a file in my editor so from now on I'll use this. Um, please create them as you normally did before. Um, this is a plugin in Sublime Text 2 if you're interested. I uh, forget what it's called. But yes, so I'm going to create a new file in the folder here and I'm going to call it arrays.php. Remember, we must always end it in .php because it's a PHP file. Okay, so here is our file. Let's open up tags. So we've got a workspace ready. So this episode is going to be on arrays. Uh, the code for this again will be in the description um, in a pastebin link so that you can easily download this. I've been told it's a very good way of doing it so hopefully that'll help you out. Okay, so arrays. Now there are three types of arrays. There is a numeric array, an associative array, and a multi-dimensional, if I can spell it, array. Okay, now, we're going to be going over these types one by one, and this is why this episode is solely on arrays, because it's quite a large topic. Okay, now, think of an array like an ice cube tray that you put in your freezer. It holds multiple values, or multiple ice cubes, um, but they all come under one single tray. Um, this basically, that basically explains what an array is. It holds multiple values in one standard variable, if you like. So, we're going to create a new variable as shown in the previous episode called numeric and it's going to equal an array. This is how you write an array in PHP. You do array and then open open bracket, close bracket. Okay. You don't have to do it this way. Um, in the newer versions of PHP you can now just do this and that will make an array. Or you can even create each key separately and PHP will automatically rejig that into an array for you. But we're going to do it the old way, the proper way, if you like, so that if you're using an old version of PHP, this will still work. So we're going to do animals. So cat, dog, and fish. Okay, so here's our three animals in an array. So this part here, the dollar numeric, this is like our ice cube tray. And then this is our array, which says what each ice cube is in that tray if you like. So how would we output cat onto our page? Well first off we would do echo, uh, which is our function to uh, pass a string and post it to the page, or pass anything and post it to the page really. Um, we give it the ice cube tray, if you like, the array, and we open the square brackets, open single quotes, and we reference the number. This is how to do it in a numeric array. Don't forget we're only doing numeric arrays here. So you reference the key as a number, like so. Now, I bet you're wondering, how come we are outputting cat, but we reference it with zero? Arrays start at zero. So this one here is zero, that's one, that's two. That's to use up uh, the most memory values in the server. That's why they do that. Um, so it always starts at zero. So obviously we want the first element, so I'm going to call zero there. So I'm going to hit save. I'm going to go into my browser here. Now this is the episode two folder in my local host, in my MAMP. I'm going to hit refresh. Arrays.php is now there. And it says cat, which is right. Cat is the first object, uh, the first item. And we're referencing that with zero. Say if we wanted dog, we would do the same again. We just change that to one. Go back to Chrome, refresh, and it now says dog. <clears throat> okay, this this is the most e this is the easiest type of array because you just ref list you just literally referencing it by a number. Now we're going to do something called an associative array. This is the one that I use most, simply because it is the easiest. I would have said. So let's create our array as normal, but this time we're going to use named keys. So instead of doing one, we can put 
the first one or hello and that'll output whichever one is referenced to hello so we're going to use named keys here so to do this we first create our objects or our items this is the best way of doing it so I'm going to say cat dog and fish just like above and I want to use these keys here to reference their name so if I put the name of the dog it would output dog so it outputs type so to do this we open more double quotes and Sublime's going to throw a bit of a wobbly here because of the way it works um, and you're going to we're going to use an equal sign and a greater than sign which looks a bit like an arrow that's how I try to remember it. it looks a bit like an arrow so this key this key here will reference this item which let's think of a good cat's name whiskers whiskers so whiskers if we type in uh, so if we type in echo dollar associative whiskers uh, this should be lowercase by definition really uh, it doesn't have to be but by convention it's better to keep that lowercase uh, to make it easy for us to type it really so if we save that it should come up with cat and it does see we've got the dog from before now we've got cat so I'll comment that out for a moment so this will come up with cat because that's what whiskers here is assigned to it's like an assignment let's do it again with the dog let's think of a dog's name Rory <laughs> I'm terrible with uh, pet names as you can see um, so Rory here is a dog so if we change that to Rory it will come up with dog as it should and we're just going to do a quick last one with the fish which I'm going to call Goldie just to be really <laughs> everyone calls their goldfish Goldie um, I don't know if it's a with a Y though I'll put it as an IE okay so if we do Goldie now it will come up with fish as expected okay and that's the basics of an associative array so you define your own keys here whereas a numeric is set a key by PHP which just does 0, 1, 2, 3 etc in the order you've typed them an associative array you can use your own key values here lastly we have something called a multi-dimension array now, it's quite a long name and it sounds really scary um, but it's not that scary at all basically a multi-dimensional array is an array inside an array it's arrayception so we can do multi dollar multi-dimensional which is actually guessing for us that's quite cool um, which equals an array S same syntax again to start off the array but this time we're going to do cats equals array so there we go we've put an array inside an array um, whiskers spike and I'll just leave it at two for now we add a comma and we're going to do some dogs here um, which will be another array uh, Rory and Rex okay what I've done here is I've created my own custom key called cats which actually should be lowercase so here's my key called cats and that will return out another array so if we do echo dollar cats uh, dollar sorry multi-dimensional rather cats and save that what do you think will be output we're referencing cats here remember an array is not a string or an integer so it it shouldn't output it will come up with an array because it PHP thinks oh he sent me an array but wants me to output it on the page so PHP will always just output the word array um, a quick tip here which I use a lot if you re really want to find out what an array map is if you want to know what's in an array without having to try and find each item you can do print underscore R which is a function in PHP which will output what an array is or what an object is
it's rather useful. So if we do refresh here, we now get array and at zero is whiskers, at one is spike. Uh, I'm just going to comment that out just so that fish isn't there. Okay, so how do we get whiskers? Well, as seen in the example on the Chrome on the Chrome browser, just we do multi-dimensional cats, which is another array, so we can do another square bracket straight after it zero, and that'll output whiskers. As you can see, I've referenced cats, which is here, and because it returns an array, I've referenced zero, which means this one here will be output. We could dig it again, switch that to one, and that will output spike. So if we hit refresh, there you go, there's spike. And if we set that to zero and set this to dogs, that would output Rory, because Rory is from the dogs array at index number zero. And that's basically arrays, really. Uh, it's quite a, a neat way. I use it for in my scripts to do configs. So I do dollar config database host, and that'll store the database host. And then I can do dollar config database username uh, root maybe. Um, and then I'll carry on obviously password database name etc. And then I could reference, I could get all the database details from an, in an array by doing dollar config database. And that'll give me all of the database details because it'll give me all of these children right here that I can reference. So that's quite useful, really. That's, uh, that's a good example. I'll only comment these. And you can check it out in the link below. Um, it's on Pastebin again. So you can easily copy and paste this and have a go for yourself. Give it a go. Um, that's the only way you're going to learn is if you practice it. Okay, so that was a numeric array which just references each of these by a key, which is a number, it's like an index number, as it's known in PHP. An associative array, which is your custom key, so I could type in Goldie there and it would come up, it would search for Goldie and it would give out fish. And multi-dimensional arrays, where we've got an array here called dogs and zero. Again with this, as a further extension, you can do an associative multi dimen I can't really spell, Chanel array. Now that sounds extremely long, but basically it's the same as this example here. Uh, I'm just going to call this dollar array, just because I can. But this time, instead of just putting whiskers here, you can do um, name whiskers. And just as a quick example, just before we end off the episode, you will then reference that as cat's name. So that's an associative array inside of a multidimensional array. Which sounds really horrible. I, again, because I've commented this out, we've got dog, fish, Rory, and whiskers from here. And that'll do for this episode. Um, if you want to download this file, it's in the description. Um, please like if you like this episode. Um, if you like it, then please do hit that like button. It tells me that I'm doing well at this and that the format is great. And hit subscribe if you want to see the if you want to see more. Um, thanks for watching.